Hi there, YouTube family. Welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about my very favorite face brushes. I don't often talk about brushes on my channel. I kind of mention them when I'm doing tutorials, but I don't often talk about the face brushes that I use. And I have some really, really good brushes here. Some brushes that I have had for a long time. And then one brush that I just barely picked up that I had to tell you guys about. And I thought, what better way to do that than talk about face brushes. I want you to know ahead of time that there is only a few in here that are like drugstore price. And then I've got a couple that are mid range. And then I've got one that's really expensive in here. So let's get right into this. If you're new to my channel and you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you as a part of the family. And if you guys wouldn't mind, please giving me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that because it does help me get generated out there into YouTube land. Also, you guys, I know that some of you are probably going to ask about this eyeshadow look. I actually wasn't planning on doing a tutorial on it. I suppose I could if you guys want me to, but it is out of the LA Girl Hot Heat Palette. And, and this one is the Vacay Every Day. If you guys haven't had a chance to see these, holy spumoni people. It's so pretty. All right, we'll talk about that another time. Okay, but what I'll kind of do with these, I'll kind of go from the least expensive to the most expensive. Hopefully that will help you guys decide. This brush right here is from e.l.f. It's the small stipple brush. I have used this brush and used it and used it. So this is my third one. The first one I lost and then the second one, I think that I melted on a curling iron. So, but they've never fallen apart. Like the bristles have never come out or anything like that. And I use this for my contour. So when I'm chiseling out my cheekbones up in my hairline and you know, down in my double chin and whatnot, because I can lay it on the side right here and it can lay down the product and then it can buff out too because you're not buffing in too much product because it's a stipple brush. So love that one. And then this next one is what I use for my highlighter. Now I have never been able to find another one of these. I have had this forever, but it's just a fan brush, but it is a very soft fan brush. The closest that I've ever come to seeing one that was close to this is from Sigma or from ColourPop. The ColourPop one is a lot less. So I will put both of those down below, both the Sigma and the ColourPop, I'll link them. But I just like it because I can do this motion with it instead of having to do the sweeping motion and it will go down into any wrinkles or anything I have like that and not show any texture from the powder highlight that I'm using. So really love this fan brush. And fan brushes are ones that you can find all over. Just find yourself a really soft one for doing your highlight. The next one is one I cannot believe it took me so long to get. This is from e.l.f. and this is a big powder brush from them. And I must have passed by this in Ulta, I don't know, countless amounts of times and gone past it. And every single time I'd go, oh, that's, that's, that feels good. That's fluffy. But you know, they're always really filthy because people put their hands on them. Of course, this is dirty because I used it today, but this is so soft and so supple and I love this for powder and I use it as my finishing powder because it's so light and airy and it just buffs in that finishing powder not so much that you're going to feel like you're getting cakey with it but just enough you just get the finished airbrushed look from it and i really really like this you guys i think it's like 10 or 12 dollars i can't remember but I've been using it nonstop since I got it. No hairs have fallen out of it. I've, I've washed it multiple times. It always comes out just as pretty as it was when I very first bought it. So I would really recommend that if you've been looking for a really nice, big, huge powder brush, this is every bit as good as the one that I have from e.l.f. I have the one that is the most expensive one in the store, the huge one. My hubby bought it for me and I love it, but I think this one is every bit as nice and I almost like it better because it isn't quite as dense as that one. So love that brush. All right, this one right here is from Sonia Kashuk. And this is her la large powder brush. And I think this is number 100. Anyway, my friend Mary from Glitzy Fritzy, she was talking about this. And I kid you not, while she's talking about this brush, I am on my laptop buying it. <laughs> because I knew that if her and Mel Thompson were using it, it was something that I wanted to try. And I know that Sonia Kashuk is pretty, you know, it's like average. It's not super duper expensive, but it's not super cheap. This is so nice, you guys. I use this for buffing in my setting powder and it's dome shape. It's super soft. I love this thing and it's big. I mean, that is a pretty 
big, good sized brush. It's not a little brush whatsoever. I don't feel like this was that expensive, especially when I compare it to some of the IT brushes that I have that, you know, are a lot of money. I and wanna say it was like $22 for a really nice powder brush. I haven't seen one fiber or one hair come out of here. And it, I can't tell you guys how soft that is. I just wanna just pet it like all day long. <laughs> this one and the elf one, I just wanna keep petting them. They're so lovely. So I really highly recommend that one. This one is an it brush and this is a duo fiber brush. So you have the dense fibers down here and then really light and airy right here. You can actually almost see down into the brush, you guys. I really like this for putting on bronzer. It just kind of diffuses it enough that it's you're not laying down too much product. Now, don't get me wrong. If you want to put on a lot of bronzer, you can get that you know brush in there and put on a lot of bronzer. But because I'm so fair, I need to be a little bit more careful about putting on my bronzer. So this does a really good job. I can just swipe one time into my bronzer, dust it off in my hand a little bit, and then just hit the high points, my cheeks, my nose, all that. And it just does such a good job of diffusing it without leaving me looking too orange or too bright or too dark. All those things you have to be careful with when you're really, really fair and it's winter time and you're a ghost. And then once you've got it on, you can go back in and buff if you want to because it's just so light, so airy. And you know, you can blend all you want to with that. It's really a nice brush as well. Second to the most expensive, but the most expensive one I have, I will not be without. They couldn't pry this baby out of my hand if they tried. I love this brush. I talked about this brush since my channel first started because this is a brush that is so special for putting on your blush. Again, it is a dual fiber brush with the stippling part at the top and very dense. You can see down into it and you can tell it's very stained. I did use it today, but I tried to wipe it off a little bit, but it is stained because I have used this with cream products. This is a brush that is designed to put down cream products in a very soft manner. You know when you put a blush brush that's dense into a cream blush and then you try to put it on and you've got all this blush and you're like, oh my gosh, this won't do that. This puts it down in such a light way and stipples that you can continue to stipple and buff and you have this gorgeous blush look. It is fantastic for powder as well. I use it every day with powder. I'm, I'm not, not a huge cream blush person, but I've used it with this and it just works fantastic. Now, I will tell you that this is only sold on QVC. You can get it on its own, but the one that comes with the little um, cream blush with it, it's cheaper. I don't know why than just buying the, the individual brush itself. I don't know why. So you get to try a cream blush out from it and you get to get this brush. This brush is probably, I would say five or six years old. It has never lost one fiber ever. That's a lot to say. It's never like had anything pull out. I mean, I could do this all day and nothing comes out of it. It's just fantastic. The only thing that I have going on with it right now is I think I got it too wet in the ferrule and the ferrule's a little loose, but it's been that way for about a year and it's never come all the way off. So I'm not going to worry about it. But if this brush were to ever anything happen to it, as a matter of fact, when I have to use another brush and do my blush with another brush, I get mad because I look at my blush and I feel like it's not done right. It's just perfect. It like lays down on your cheeks. It's the right size, you know, to be able to go from this part of your cheek to the top of your cheek and then go up around your eye socket, curl your blush up wherever you want it to. It is the most perfect blush brush I've ever used. I know this is very expensive, but for me it's worth it. And that's the last thought I'm going to leave you with about brushes is that I do have my favorites and you saw that some of them were a little bit more expensive, but brushes are something that I'm okay investing in because normally if you buy a brush and you use it and you love it, you're going to have it for life. If it's a really good quality, then I know I'm going to have it for a really long time unless I melt it with the curling iron. <laughs> That's it for today's video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. I really do appreciate it. Tell me if you have a favorite brush in your collection that you can't live without and that you reach for every time. This is just, again, my face brushes. I will be doing my eye brushes for you guys. So look forward to that. I hope that will be up in the next couple of weeks. Everyone, please take care of yourselves. I love you all so very much. Thank you all for giving me your time today and I'll catch you all in my next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.